The equation of a circle on the xy plane is shown above. What is the diameter of the circle? So we start with this, and I'm going to make all the x's together and all the y's together, and I'm going to show you why in a second. And we need to get this into the, equa into the equation of the circle, the standard form of the circle. And to do that, we have to complete the square. So remember the trick with completing the square is you look at this b, you divide it by 2, and you square it. And that number is what you have to add to both sides so that you can factor this and get a perfect square. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9. So we're going to do x squared minus 6x plus 9. And then we're going to add 9 to that side. And now what about the y? So 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 squared is 16. So I'm going to add 16 to both sides. So what do I get over here? 144 plus 16 is 60, plus 9 is 169. Now I'm going to go ahead and factor these. This is the same thing as x minus 3 squared. This is the same thing as y plus 4 squared. It's 169. Now remember, this is equal to radius squared. So let's square root this. The square root of 169 is 13. But we want the diameter, so it's twice the radius, which is 26. And that's the answer. As has been the trend in this test so far, this is a very standard Algebra 1, Algebra 2 type question where you're dealing with conic sections, right? You're given a, an equation, you have to make it into the standard form of the circle so that you can find the radius and the center and all that stuff. In this case, we're looking for the diameter, but it's a standard question. So if you know how to com complete the square, if you know how to put this in the right form, if you remember that that's r squared, Right, all these little tricks. If you remember those things, if you know how to do them, you're good. If you don't remember how to do this, you've never learned it, you don't recall, whatever the case may be, this is going to be an impossible question. So that is, of course, where this test is going. You have to know what they teach you in math. So if you've paid attention in math, if you've done well in math, and or if you want to put in the time to relearn this or learn this material as necessary, you'll do fine. It's just that's the style of question that they're going to have on this test.